Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stanley Walker, and I just finished working on a car, and I decided to run in real quick, and I wanted to share with you guys some of the fundamentals of actually starting your own business, okay? And guys, this is very simple. Guys and girls, this is very, very simple, all right? So uh, just keep an open mind while we jump into this real quick, and uh, maybe take a mental note or actually get a pen and pad out and start to take some real notes, okay? But let's jump right into this deal. And when you're starting your own business, you got to know the reason why that you're actually getting in business why you want to get involved with something like this and I say this because let your reason why you're starting in business be the reason why when the times get rough that you won't actually quit okay or tap out and uh, you know I talk to a lot of people and a lot of people say that they're tired of working for somebody else and this is definitely a reason to get uh, get involved in your own business um I don't want to work for anybody else. I don't want to know that, um, you know, that I'm slaving uh, nine to five. They're raking in, you know, buku bucks. And at the end of the day, I'm only getting paid a very, very small portion. Um, no room, no room to climb up the ladder. Uh, it's, 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 I, I just can't see myself retiring um, comfortably living working for somebody else okay some people have actually gotten to the point in their job or their career where they actually got laid off this is this is this is scary because uh, sometimes when most people get laid off they don't even know you know how they're gonna make the next next bill how they're gonna next make their next car payment you know how they're gonna ne make their next house payment but anyway um this is a great time to actually start to invest your time in the starting or building your business okay a lot of people, believe it or not, have actually went through college, graduated from college, got a degree, and still can't make good use of their degree. Now, how's that sound? I mean, sounds kind of crazy, but it's true enough, all right? Um, I love to set my own schedule. I really love to set my own schedule. I've been an entrepreneur pretty much all my life. I, I, I just knew that... I wanted to be in control of my time. I wanted freedom. They told me that the United States was a free country and that we had freedom. I wanted my freedom. But it seemed like right after high school, it seemed like that, that, that freedom was actually slowly getting snatched away from me. So I actually had to, to, to make a big sacrifice, a huge sacrifice, and I didn't realize it right away. But after a while, I realized that the only true freedom is through entrepreneurship, okay? So start your own business. Uh, most a lot of people don't have the opportunity to spend time with their kids. They don't have the opportunity to instill in the, the values, uh, skills that they want to instill in their child or they, they, you know, the child is not getting help in areas that, you know, they need help in or they're not they're not uh, exercising their strengths and, um, you know, in ways that, you know, that they have these strengths. Um, a lot of people are trying to build a retirement value. I'm trying to retire retire before I am 35. Honestly, I want to retire my mom way before 67. And hey, my old man, he needs to be retired too. You know, so this is definitely one of the reasons why you should get involved and in start your own business. A lot of people are are working at their job. They're putting in overtime, and you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid what you're worth. You're really not getting paid what you're worth. Think about it. But it is up to you. So you have to know that it is up to you. Your action is going to be what changes things. So, guys, um, you with it or you not? Change your mindset, okay? The brain is very powerful and our thoughts have the ability to become things, okay? We can manifest realities. This is so powerful. I mean... Literally, if you want something different, the only thing you have to do is simply do something differently. Okay, so I like to tell people to stop walking around with that attitude, with that stinking thinking. Okay, they they already told us that the definition of uh, insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. So obviously, if uh, if you want to make six figures and the only thing you're doing is uh, getting up, going to work, coming home, making 15 bucks an hour or something like that, you got to be crazy to think that you're going to be making six figures unless you stop, reassess your life, and figure out other ways to implement income-producing activities into your daily, into your daily, um, your daily program. Uh, get out of the mindset of an, of an employee and jump into the one of it, that of an entrepreneur, okay? And this is not anything against employees or anything like that because 
by all means we need employees to help the world go round um but challenge yourself don't slack slack sl do not slack do not try to slack and get to the top this will not work please believe please believe just just take my word for it okay challenge yourself set yourself some goals set yourself some expectations where do you see yourself in the next six months where do you see yourself in the next six years really um change your circle i, I like i like this um you know this phrase that if you hang around nine broke people that um you're bound to be the 10th the one same thing applies vice versa if you're hanging around nine uh, successful people or nine people in business you are almost guaranteed to become a success all right I cannot stress mindset enough. I'm telling you, the only shackles, the only mountains are in your mind, okay? At the end of the day, in business, in your life, period, you are 100% responsible. Your success and failure depends completely upon you. So you can't go around blaming, pointing the finger at nobody, okay? okay finding your niche all right i like to tell people to find something that they can do um no matter whether or not they were getting paid for it or not okay something that you're passionate about i mean definitely uh consider your hobbies consider your likes consider your interests but find something that you like to do so much that money doesn't even matter okay uh i like to talk i like to um i like to i don't mind helping people i like fixing things uh I, I i love technical things um i like to read i like to learn like i said i don't mind helping people so this is actually the perfect the perfect platform to actually uh you know uh, uh promote to my market all right um do get step out of your comfort zone you gotta you gotta really chase those dreams and in order to chase those dreams sometimes they are so so far-fetched that you just gotta you just gotta jump out there on a leap of faith and and actually start to chase that dream okay nothing is gonna come to you sleep nothing is gonna come to where you are um i, I wanted to finish my first nothing gonna come to you sleep but dreams okay and um in dreamland i guess you can find success in dreamland but since we living in a reality um we got to get right to it like it's nothing to it okay face your fears okay do not be scared if i was scared look i would not have ever been able to get this video out okay it been it been it's probably been pretty uh, a couple of weeks but since i've gotten this thing out um procrastination is something that you definitely want to avoid that is one of the pitfalls that will stop you from starting or growing your business okay so do not be scared so take that leap of faith uh find a mentor this is somebody that can uh that's somebody that's already made it to where you're trying to go this person can help you avoid certain pitfalls uh that that business seems to just drop in front of us um get an accountability partner or or, or get some accountability partners these are the people that are going to keep you on point so you don't get caught out here slacking okay and do me a do me one favor all right do not leave here and try to go and ask somebody that has never done anything besides work a job how to start a business okay uh that's just the wrong way to go all the way around the board so next the question is what is your plan okay the plan always starts off with a vision okay and this vision we want to make this vision so big so clear so simple that when people hear it they they want to be a part of it they can they can easily just just jump right in it is big enough that they can create a vision within inside of your vision and start to grow their own business within within it okay next we're going to take we got to strategize a plan we're going to have to rearrange some things we're going to have to get a daily action plan in place uh, we're going to have to figure out what is it going to cost to keep this business going how much do we want to spend for advertising uh, how much we're spending for marketing uh, how are we going to actually get drive traffic into our business we we want to we, we really want to plan things out before we just jump right into this thing head first all right but the main thing is take action take action okay next we definitely want to understand the market before we get 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 off into this all right who is our targeted audience so 
what is your product what is your service and and who are going to be the customers that are likely uh, to buy into your product or service um, what what are some of the questions that 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 the, uh, that the marketplace have um, some of the, some of the questions that I don't know, I, you know me I, I deal with a lot of people they have problems with um, you know car problems or health problems we'll just stick to that so I have to find answers to to the to the questions of car problems and answers and that way I can you know tailor a, a product or a service um, to help them who is the competition who is your competition so you definitely want to study the market so you can figure out how you're gonna get in and how you're gonna win okay now what are the benefits of starting your own business this is definitely something that you want to look at want pay attention to this okay we have the ability to change lives okay we have the ability to take people from a, a nine to five living paycheck to paycheck to living a financially free i'm not worried about bills or anything this, this can offer stability okay this can bring value back to the community leave a legacy all right I, I know some people are out there trying to build an empire but they do not know how to do it and please believe me that a75 is not gonna get it this is definitely empowering empowering I love I, I, I cannot mention enough I love set my own schedule this is big for me you can pay off your bills make some extra money um, so there are all type of all type of benefits I forgot to even mention the tax breaks tax breaks are unheard of for, for business owners so uh, definitely take a look in to starting your own business okay and most importantly please do not give up be prepared be ready this thing is gonna throw all type of punches at you it is gonna drag you down to the dirt nobody is telling you that this is easy if you think this is easy forget about it if you want something easy fill out an application go find a job okay um, this is something for the dedicated the motivated the strivers the strugglers people that do not mind a fight okay the road to success is not gonna be an easy one but if this was easy everybody would be doing it so uh, just stay focused believe in yourself and thanks again ladies and gentlemen and I will see you at the top.